G'day guys. Um, I just recently bought uh, Cubase IC Pro, which is an iOS and Android uh, remote control app for Cubase. And I'm gonna show you how to install it on Mac. So I'll put all these links up in the description, but um, you can see here, you gotta purchase the app inside the app store, which I've done. You can see there it is there. Um, if I try and launch it, it says that there's no, it says that there's no computers found. So we've gotta let um, the app know that my computer is available. So we've got to download this Steinberg SKI remote extension. And that gets you to this link. We just download that, which downloads this file. It's a .pkg file. We just launch that. Go through the steps. Agree. And install. So once that's done, we can actually launch um, Cubase. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just create a blank session for now. We wanna go up to devices and down to device setup. Uh, so we want to add that extension that we just uh, downloaded. So we want to click this plus to add a device and there it is there, Steinberg SKI remote. And see there it is under remote devices, Steinberg SKI. We go OK. And as you can see, um, the app has started up. So this so this is um, what it looks like. So that's a copy of the project window. We can go over to the mix window. So we can do that on uh, Cubase as well, F3. And then we've got various keyboard shortcuts that we can, or key commands we can look at and scroll through. I'll make another video with going through in more detail the um, Cubase IC Pro. Uh, I hope this was a valuable tutorial and thank you for watching.